It's not uncommon for upper molar teeth to have very curved roots, and it's just as common when you're trying to remove a tooth like this with a forcep that one of the roots will break. And very commonly this can be the palatal root because it curves in the direction opposite to the two buccal roots. Now if this happens just below the crown of the tooth, it's fairly easy to retrieve the root, but if the fracture is such that there's only about two or three millimeters of root remaining, it can be very difficult to remove, not least because it's also very difficult to see what you're doing in order to get the root tip out. Here's a case that illustrates that well. This is a healthy 27-year-old woman who had gross dental decay in a number of teeth who came in for removal of teeth numbers 15 and 16. 16 was elevated out without any problem, but as you'll see, number 15 required a little bit more work. A flap was raised and an elevator was used to mobilize the tooth and expand the alveolus and a forcep was applied to luxate the tooth both to the buccal and the lingual. And as the tooth is eased out, we notice that feels like it's coming out. However, we heard a little crack as the tooth was being removed, and lo and behold, the palatal root was missing. So the first thing you want to do is you want to suction the area and irrigate it out real thoroughly so you can really get a good look in the socket and see if you can see the root. And there you can see it is in the palatal socket, approximately two to three millimeters of root. You may recall from your education or just from experience that when a root fractures, it generally does not fracture straight across, but fractures rather obliquely. And in this case, the root fractured so that the higher side was more towards the distal. And so that's where we're going to engage our root tip pick in order to remove this small root fragment. So the first step is really seeing what you're doing. And you, if you can view this directly, that's great. But a lot of times you have to do it through a mouth mirror. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to tease out this root tip by engaging that high side with the root tip pick. We place the instrument between the root tip and the alveolar wall and try to dislocate the root tip. And there we see that we've done it and then we can go in with a Stieglitz root tip forcep and go in and grab the root tip, grab the root fragment, make sure we've got it securely, and then we can just lift it right out of the socket. There we go. And now we're all done.